In this video, I am going to walk you through the CLE level four math. It's going to be a very thorough flip through. So stick around. Um, this is um, Christian Light Education Mathematics 4. And Mathematics 4 comes with two teacher's guides. So it's 401 to 405 that's in this teacher's guide and 406 to 410 that's in this teacher's guide. It comes with 10 light units starting from 401 to 410. And the teacher's guides are just pretty much answer sheets. Like it's just pretty much the answer sheet. There are some small tips for like struggling students and some helpful hints along the corners and like um just like pre like practice sets and pre-tests and stuff but it's not like teaching you how to teach them you understand what i'm saying so it's got like teacher check you know when student is prepared to take the pre-test initially circle and give permission to proceed so it's just got like small tips but it doesn't really teach you how to teach them at this stage so like level one and a little bit of level two did more of that, but this is pretty much an answer key. So it's just answering. And then in the back, you'll find some. So in the back, it also has extra practice sheets. So that is also a benefit to getting the teacher's guide is that in the appendix, you will get um, the extra practice sheets, math reference chart, flashcard system, um, alternative tests. Uh, if you have an issue with the first test and you want them to take the test again, um, the scope and sequence and th different things like that. So you'll get all of that in, that you wouldn't get if you just got the answer sheets. So same thing with 406 so just all the answers a couple of tips tips so like here you have teaching the lesson just like some board work that you could do but it's not every lesson that you will have teaching tips do have lesson preparations like if you do the flashcards and they tell you like different speed drills to do and stuff board work So I'm not going to flip through all the light units, but I'm going to flip through probably every other. So starting with 401. So the O1s are um, filled with pre-tests and practice sets um, to review what was learned in the previous levels. And so you go through each section and you do a pre-test. And then if they pass the pretest, then they go on to the next pretest. If they did not pass the pretest, then they review the practice set from this lesson. So that is all the O1s are. It's just a huge review of what was learned in the previous level to see what they need additional practice on and to see whether or not they, um, they know it. And then they move on to the next. So they spend uh, about two weeks just reviewing what they know and what they still need more help on knowing. And in every light unit, you are going to get that light unit's test and it's always gonna be in the center 
And they do it that way so you can tear it out. Because I keep all the tests, but I do not keep the light units. So that's 401. So I'm gonna show 402 just because it's really the beginning of level four, you know? So this is what they're gonna be learning. Every light unit is gonna is going to begin with a um with like a little story in the front. You'll see that in every light unit. Every light unit will have two quizzes that they do at some point and it lets them know when to do the quizzes and every light unit will have the tests and speed drills. So this is the story. And so you begin with the lesson, it teaches them the lesson and then they practice the lesson that was taught to them and then more practice of what was just taught to them. And then they do a we remember section, which is just reviewing what they already know, skill builder section to continue to build those necessary um, multiplication, addition, division, subtraction skills. And then a fact focus section to focus on the different um, facts. And then we do the same thing again, the lesson, the we remember, the skill builder, the fact focus. They also do mental math. So as you can see, lesson five is shorter. So it's just tell your teacher when you're ready to take the quiz. So I don't have my children do just for fun, but you can. I just have them do everything before just for fun. So this is a full lesson. They'll do all this like four pages there's not a lot of pictures and colors and things like that my kids tend to find that a little bit distracting my kids tend to find that a little bit distracting and I love the fact that there's lots of review with the fact focus and the mental math and the we remember, it's lots of review to give them an opportunity to really solidify those concepts that they've already learned. And like I said, the test is at the center. So my kids know to, to just skip right over that and continue with the lesson. When they were a little bit smaller, like my youngest, I would take out the test at the beginning before she even got the light unit. That way she didn't accidentally did the test. But my oldest knows to skip right over the test that's at the center. Sorry if you hear my little one in the back. So that is how it begins reading Roman numerals. So that is how it begins on level four. So we're gonna jump right into 405, just to see, let's see the middle, 405. So 
they also give you the methods for checking to check their work. Like I said, it'll, they all start with a story. Here you're learning about common factors, ordering decimals, Multiplying three factors. Volume. Changing improper fractions to whole or mixed numbers. Another quiz. Simplifying fractions. Making equal fractions. At the same time, still reviewing everything that was already taught. Borrowing in your head. All right, I changed locations. <laughs> So rounding in the middle of a number. Mental math. Quiz two, measuring volume. more we remember, finding the missing numerator, pictographs that show halves, Making a pictograph. It's pretty advanced, you know? But it does a really good job at building on top of each other. And I don't know if I mentioned, but in the map back, they do have speed drills that you do every single lesson with your child. And you time them for one minute and see how fast they can get through these drills. And these are the quizzes in the back. Both quiz one and quiz two are located in the back. Now 410 shows how it ends, you know, at the end of level four, your child should be, what your child should be able to do. Meters and centimeters. Rounding to the nearest fourth inch. Sets without pictures. Prime numbers. Keys to finding prime numbers. One half and tenths. One half and hundreds. Means square root. Tenths. 
test. Dry food measures. Symmetry and asymmetry. Completing symmetrical shapes. Places on a grid. I remember doing this, but I think I was in like middle school. <laughs> so it's pretty advanced. Scale drawing on a grid. is the test 17 is just for fun. so each light unit has 17 lessons and the 16th is 16th is the test and 17th is just for fun speed drills in the back and the quizzes in the back so that's it i hope this was helpful to see like just a flip through on what a typical lesson would look like from beginning to end and seeing what, how intense it gets and different things like that. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And until next time, bye.